Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple progress bar using PyQt5. So right here, I have a, a blank script open, and the name of the script is progressbar.py. And here, I'm going to import a system module, and followed by the PyQt uh, module and classes. So from the PyQt5 Qt widgets uh, module. I'm going to input a QWidget class as well as QProgress bar uh, push button in the application. And let me just run these real quick. Okay, and there's no typo missing. And from the PyQt5 uh, Qt core module, and I'm going to input a basic timer uh, class. And here I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, create my main module. So uh, if name is equal to main, and I'm going to create my application instance. And here I'm going to uh, do the system dot exit. So here we need to create a class to uh, create our progress bar widget. And I'm going to call this class, uh, let's do progress bar demo. And the parent class will be queue widgets. So here, uh, initialize And here I'm going to create my uh, progress bar widget. So I'm going to call this uh, progress bar. And I'm going to um, pass the Q push, I should not push a uh, Q progress bar uh, class. And assign that to the self dot progress bar uh, variable. And here I'm going to uh, create a, a demo uh, object. So demo is equal to progress bar demo. And that show. And if, if I just run this right now, oops, uh, oh, oh, I see. So here's I made a typo and it should be two underscores. So let me try again. So if I just run uh, this uh, script right now, and this will give us just a, a this right here, a progress bar widget on the, on the form. So let me close this and we'll adjust the, uh, the, the, the size and the width later. So here, uh, I should make a typo here. Uh, it should be progress. And here, uh, taking the from the progress bar variable, and I'm going to set the uh, the width and the height and the uh, launching position. So I'm going to use the set geometry method. I'm going to set the uh, progress bar position from 30 pixel uh, high and 40 pixel to the right, 200 pixel wide and uh, 25 pixel uh, tall. Next, I'm going to create two buttons. So one is the, the stop button and the other one will be the reset button. going to call the text uh, stop and I send that to the parents widget. And I'll move this to uh, 30. I'll move this to uh, the top of uh, 30 pixel and 80 pixel uh, to the right. So here we need to connect our stop button to a function. Oops. Uh, dot connect. And I'll come back. Just I'll come back to this later. So uh, I need to create my function and to uh, provide the. I need to provide a function to the uh, connect method. But here I'm going to create my other uh, push button widget. So I'm going to call this uh, button reset, and this will reset the progress bar back to zero.
and I'm going to move to uh, the button to 120 and 80. Reset. I'm going to connect this to a, another function uh, that will be uh, be creating uh, pretty soon. So mark this as to do. And here I'm going to create a timer variable. And I'm going to pass the uh, basic timer class. And I'm going to set the step to zero. So the step basically uh, is the beginning value of the progress bar. And the beginning value is always going to be zero, which meaning a uh, zero percent. Now let's create the, the functions. So the first function will be start progress bar. And this function will initialize a uh, progress bar. So here we're going to insert condition. So if the timer uh, is active, then we want to stop the timer. And I'm going to uh, change the button text to uh, still start. And otherwise, we're going to set the timer uh, to 100. And so, I'll set the uh, button text to stop. And here I'm going to uh, create timer events. So this event will basically will take the uh, the timer value and pass the value to the progress bar a uh, bar value. So if the uh, so if the step is uh, greater than 100 or equals to 100, because 100 is the the maximal uh, percentage value, and I want the timer to stop. And we'll set the uh, stop button text back to uh, stop. And return will continue. Uh, return basically just uh, X out the, the function. And otherwise, uh, let's, we'll increase the step by one. And we'll pass the step value to the progress bar. Now let's just run the entire script and to see what we get so far. And here I have a, have a, uh, a typo uh, error. So I'm just a requirement. So let me take a look. Oh, so here. Uh, uh, so I forgot to pass this function to the, uh, the connect method. And let me just uh, comment this out real quick. So if I just run the entire script, and here's what the uh, the progress bar right here, and the two buttons. And if I click on stop, and that will basically uh, launch the progress bar initializing uh, process. And stop. Oops, uh, just a typo. Set. Oh, should be set value. Oops. Oh, uh, set text, not the value. Okay, now uh, the last thing we need to do is we need to create a function to reset the progress bar. So I'm going to call this function uh, reset bar. And basically, all we need to do is we just need to set the, the step value to zero. And we'll pass the value to the progress bar. And that's it, guys. So let me delete this extra line right here. And if I just run uh, the entire script, 
in here um, in, I'm uh, initializing the prox bar and if I just click on stop and that's going to stop the progress bar now if I click on reset and that will set the progress bar back to zero and I can uh, restart the progress over again alright guys so this is everything and if you found this video useful please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel for more video in the future if you have any feedback please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on the next video.